Hello families of the Academy and future families of the Academy. My name is Lori. I'm a behavioral consultant where I focus on emotional regulation and intelligence. Our thoughts, our feelings, and how that creates our behavior and how we show up in the world. I work with kids and youth in their families and I focus on how do we understand what it is that we're thinking and feeling and how that turns into our behavior and then how do we adjust and adapt and leverage our mind and body so that it works for us in this world rather than against us. And I also myself was a member of the Academy under the instruction of Ronnie when I myself lived in the Cayman Islands. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of jujitsu and emotional regulation. More importantly, the development of emotional intelligence in children. Number one, learning to manage stress and anxiety. Jiu-jitsu teaches kids to stay calm and focused in high stress situations. This takes time, this takes practice, this takes consistency in showing up, but it is a master at teaching kids to bring their nervous system to a regulated state and have stay in their prefrontal cortex rather than going and shifting into their fight, flight, or freeze response. This will help them to manage their stress in everyday situations, especially when they are in high stress situations. Tests, a big performance, later on when they're applying for a job and they have an interview coming up, or they're making high stakes decisions. This is where they're wiring their brain in the developmental stages in and around resiliency. Two, tolerating frustration. When they are on that mat, they're in a complex situation. They have to be able to tolerate that frustration, again, regulate themselves so that they can think of the next move to get themselves out of that position. But there is no avoiding and there is no distracting. They have to stay in it and tolerate frustration. Again, this carries over into real life situations. When you're frustrated on a test, when things don't go your way, when you wanted it to look different than it did, you can tolerate that and then you can decide what is my next move. And three, impulse control. Now impulse control in the prefrontal cortex will not be developed until a child is in their early 20s. But this is one of the best ways to begin that firing and wiring of those neurons in that direction. Jiu-Jitsu emphasizes discipline, control. They learn to think before they act. They have to slow a moment down and become precise and strategic in thinking through where they're at right now, where their opponent is, and what comes next. They have to become strategic and not want to listen to that fight, flight, re freeze response that wants the impulse to take control. This helps them to regulate their emotions. Emotions are a powerful, wonderful thing, but they should not make our decisions for us. They should be alert systems. They should be information. All too often, we are making decisions in our life from a state and place of avoidance of the feeling or the feeling driving the decision. Impulse control is our ability to recognize we have a feeling, be with the feeling, and make a decision from a regulated state. Jiu-Jitsu is a pathway to that development.